Let's take a quick look at how we can now finally hide and lock apps on our iPhone using iOS 18. When we hide an app, it's gonna be hiding it from our home screen, from search results, and putting it inside of a hidden folder inside of our app library. And the nice thing is, in order to open that, you'll have to use Face ID, therefore not only making the app hidden, but also locked. The first thing that you'll have to do though, is update your iPhone to iOS 18. I just made a video recently showing you how to do that, so if you haven't yet, go ahead and do that now. Once you're done, let's go ahead and get started. First, find the app that you want to hide, and then long press on it until the pop-up menu appears. After that, from the list here, tap Require Face ID. Now from this menu, we can either choose if we just want to require Face ID to open the app, or if we would also like to hide it. In this video, we're going to choose Hide and Require Face ID. You'll then get another message window that explains exactly what happens when you hide an app. After you read this, confirm by hitting hide app at the bottom. After that, the app is going to be completely hidden. It won't show up in your search, inside of spotlight suggestions, Siri suggestions, or even here in your app library. Like when we hid apps in the past, we could just remove it from our home screen, but then keep it here. Instead now, scroll all the way to the bottom of this screen, and the last thing you'll see is a new folder called hidden. This is going to be where all of your hidden and locked apps are going to be stored. To access everything inside of here, just tap the folder and then unlock your phone with Face ID. Once it's unlocked, you can then tap the app icon that you want to open, and Face ID again is going to be required to open it. And in the future, if you ever want to unlock and unhide an app, just head back to the hidden folder here and unlock it, long press on the icon, and then choose Don't Require Face ID again. It'll then use Face ID to unlock, and then remove it from the hidden folder. Next though, you do have to add it back to your home screen though. So here at the top, use the search bar and then search for the app that you just unhid. Once it shows up in the results, don't select it yet, but instead long press on the app icon itself. And then from the pop-up menu that appears here, tap add back to home screen. And just like that, the app is back where it started. And that's how you hide and lock apps on your iPhone. Thanks for watching.